Update, our flight got cancelled. Our flight to Brisbane, home, got cancelled because of the winds. And then so mum and dad are freaking out, thinking we have to go on a six-hour drive to Christchurch. And then we're not going to make it in time because then we're not going to be able to get to Vanuatu because we literally have to leave tomorrow morning and like the flight don't line up. So <laughs> dad's freaking out. But then they're like, oh, like then we got a message saying it was a mistake. Like the flight's still on. But then my dad tried to check me, us all on and he could only check mum and him and mum on. So then he went to the airport. He drove to the airport to try and check us all on. But then they said that me and Liam, me and my brother got kicked off the flight and that the flight was cancelled. So it's been a bit of a... <laughs> Been a bit of a stressful morning, so now we're gonna go to the airport early to try and get on this flight because if we don't get on, then we can't go to Vanuatu. How are you feeling about that? That was traumatic. <laughs> that was traumatic. Hi guys, very stressful right now. It is the next morning. We got back from our, our flight last night, was delayed by like five hours i'm not even joking we were like sitting on the pl okay i'll tell you the story about what happened last night and then i need to like get ready because we're literally leaving for the airport for our next trip like this morning like um now so so thank god we got on the flight then we had the winds were so bad that we had to take an emergency landing in christchurch to like refuel so that's like really out of our way but it's better than driving so anyway we land in christchurch and then we're there for in the just sitting there refueling for like three hours literally three hours we were sitting there refueling because already the flight was delayed by an hour but then they were refueling and then they had to check paperwork and all this shit and some random person some random person just got off the plane they just left and like i understand if you were like viciously sick and like need like you were like having like a like you needed to get off the plane but i'm pretty sure they just said that she got off the plane so then everyone, they had to go through all of her luggage and stuff. And it was just, it, someone had a seizure on the plane. It was a very stressful situation because obviously someone nearly like died and had a seizure on the plane. Obviously the person having a seizure was having a way worse day than I was. But like, this is an like, 11 hour flight home from Queenstown, which is normally a three hour flight. So it was quite traumatic. Um, so I literally got home last night, like 11, had a couple of hours sleep and now leaving for Vanuatu like now itinerary for today is we're flying to Sorrento or something I don't know it's like one of the main things we're staying in a hotel there for one night it's like a two hour 50 flight and then after that the next day we have another flight on like a little Vanuatu airline like it's such a cool little plane and then we'd have a boat to the island and then we're on the island so honestly we'd be doing a lot of traveling <laughs> no I actually have no idea how I fit all of my stuff in the carry-on. To be honest, I just put like half of my stuff in other people's bags. So I didn't want one of those like annoying duffel bag things. I freaking hate duffel bags. Anyway. Hey. We'll organize it when we get there. We'll organize mine. It's just like random beach clothes. Oh, he's so cute. He looks like Safari Sam. Look at Liam. The Holy shit guys, look how blue the water is. We just got back from the airport. Are you kidding? Is that... That doesn't even look real. Look. <laughs> look, it doesn't even look real. Get 
Hi guys, good morning. It is bright and early in the fucking morning, I'll tell you that. I woke up when it was dark because so basically my dad and two other men and me are going out to this island. See that? Wait. See down that island. It's the only island you can see. So we're going to that island and we're going to go do some deep water spear fishing. Now this is allowed to come with us because it's a bit dangerous. I was just selected, you know, because I'm just extremely talented and no i am literally the cameraman i'm just going to film basically but we're going to that island and i'm taking footage of like i think we're going diving for like huge tuna i actually don't really know so maybe i should brush up on my facts before i tell you what we're doing like there's gonna be a shit ton of sharks you know when there's big fish there's even bigger sharks so i'm just having my coffee uh getting ready to go on the boat but Oh my god! 